2008. Wexford won that day, but down were favourites yesterday. The teams exchanged four points in the opening period before the home side took the lead with their first score from play by Ben Brosnan, 12 minutes in. In the 15th minute, however, Down hit the front. After some good build-up, Quilon Mooney picked out Conor Laverty, who found Jerome Johnston, and he gave Anthony Masterson no chance to give the Moorn men a three-point lead. Wexford then replied with three points in a row to draw level, the last of which saw Brian Malone pick out Kieran Ling, and his equaliser was an absolute beauty. It was end-to-end -end action throughout, and the Moore men retook the lead in the 25th minute when Conor Laverty fired over when there seemed nothing on. The Slaney Siders, though, finished the half strongly with another three-point burst, the pick of which was Graham Malloy's mammoth effort to leave them nine points to 1-4 ahead at the break, much to the delight of the Wexford crowd. Wexford started the second half strongly and seven minutes in scored one of the best points of the match. Kevin O'Grady showed speed, strength and composure as he left the down defence in his wake before giving the home side the 12 points to 1-4 lead. Down badly needed scores to get back into the match. They reduced the deficit to three in the 45th minute when midfielder Quilon Mooney split the posts. And six minutes later, Conor Laverty left two points between them when he fired over his second point of the match, as the game was now anyone's for the taking. But then Wexford struck their first goal of the game in the 57th minute. The ball was worked to Nevon Rossiter, whose shot hit the post, but his brother Tieran was on hand to tap home. And a minute later, the Slaney Siders bagged another goal. After playing a 1-2 with Kieran Butler, Nevon Roster burst through to score a deserved goal, and Wexford now led by eight points. Down needed a goal, and in the 61st minute, they got one. Jerome Johnson's shot was saved by Masterson, but Arthur McConville was on hand, and the gap was now five. But five minutes later, Down were reduced to 14 men when Conan Garvey received a straight red after an incident involving Wexford's Michael O'Regan. And in injury time, the home side guaranteed victory when Kieran Ling kicked his sixth point of the match from a free to spark wild celebrations amongst the home crowd. A great day for Wexford, but down summer is over earlier than expected. Final score, Wexford 2-16, down 2-11. It's one of the fluky win. I thought we played some outstanding football and the you know, people are going on about, I suppose, an all Ireland big championship. We're down in Division 4, we're after playing a team, we're after beating a team that'll, that's going to be Division 1. First target which is to get promotion in Division 1, so we're pleased at that. Uh, we'll regroup now, we'll have a look at the resources that are available to us and see what we can bring in next year for Division 1 because we will need the strength in the squad. Um, and we'll have a look at that over the championship period in Down, which will start in August, and we'll rebuild from December onwards for next year. We're going in now, getting ready for the 11th of July again, and you know, and bring on anyone, like to be honest with you, because this is a great experience. We're growing a team. There's a lot of good young players in Wexford, and and that's and and like and like that's the way forward.